Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're doing this is part two of the NitroGuard BioCube um, update. Like I'm going to be testing this. I'm going to play guinea pig for us all. Uh, if you saw part one, you'll learn about the product. So make sure you check out part one. It'll tell you what it is I'm using here. And uh, we're going to see how it goes in my uh, 90 gallon mixed reef aquarium here. If I can manage to focus. There we go. It's a little better. Um, so uh, this was all brought on because my nitrates are about 20, which isn't too high. Um, but ideally they would be between 0 and 5. So um, we're going to go ahead and try to get this stuff going. I uh, already went ahead and installed the, uh, the bag of cubes in my sump. Um, I had to do it myself just because I, uh, ahead of time because I, I, I can't film and do it. So it is right there. If you can see the bag with the bubbles coming out of it, it's supposed to go in a high current area of the sump. So um, as close to the skimmer as possible. And what I did with that was actually that's it's right below the um, the basically the exhaust ports from the skimmer. So they're blowing onto it as well as you've got to put an air stone from an air pump, which is right there, all covered in salt. Um, so that's in it as well to create more bubbles. You're basically trying to have as much as you can for bubbles running through it. I'll try to zoom in a bit there. So you can see all the bubbles running out of the bag through the stuff. Um, it should be quite a bit anyway, hopefully. And uh, that's that's all you got to do to uh, to install it. So it's a real easy install. Now, mind you, there was the 24-hour uh, uh, soak as well. So it was like almost 24 hours I soaked for. Um, and I said I would uh, give you guys my levels. So I don't test as often as I should. But um, phosphates were 0 0.03. Ideal would be zero. However, for this product, it does rely on some. So I really shouldn't have it as that. It should be 0 0.01 would be ideal. Um, pH is 8.2, it's good, I use a buffer. Um, so it's right on basically where it needs to be. Nitrates are at 20 and they should be 0 to 5. Um, I don't want to get into a big debate on the nitrates really because I, you know, I've read a lot of forms and you know one person will say you know 20 is good, another will say 10, another says 5, and most people say 0. Um, but it's all over the place. There's no real 100% definitive answer. Um, calcium is 500, which is a bit high. 4 to 450 would be ideal. I've stopped dosing calcium for now. Uh, nitrites are 0, which is exactly where we want them. Ammonia is 0, which is exactly where we want them. And uh, DKH is 11.5 which ideal would be 7 to 8. Um, some people like it 10 to 11, so once again this is going to be a personal preference I guess, although um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the 11.5. I don't think it's going to harm anything. Alkalinity is 4.1, should be 2.5 to 2.9, so it's a little bit high, so I've stopped dosing that for a few days as well. I'm going to have to uh, bring it down I guess because um, it was too low so I was um, using some of this uh, so this is a DKH buffer and um, for alkalinity and puts the pH at uh, supposed to be 8.3 I was more in the 8.2 range but um, that's it um, oh here we go so let's see if their recommended were the same as what I got online for some of these other things. So DKH in a reef aquarium they're saying 8 to 11 and see this says 7 to 8 is what it said online so I'm 11.5 if we're going by this bottle I'm doing good and alkalinity in a reef aquarium 140 or so 1.4 to 2 and here it's saying, you know, online I got 2.5 to 2.9. Um, 
so whatever, and pH is supposed to be 8 to 8.3, so that I'm okay on. So everything doesn't matter. I'm okay for everything. It just could be a little better. i got to get that calcium down, though. Um, it's a little bit high. Not that I ever think it will hurt anything. But so my future updates are really, I'm just going to show you um, the, uh, the nitrates because that's what we're after here with this product. So we'll follow along with the nitrates. However, I will test for personal knowledge my other parameters and see what they are and if I notice a spike or an immediate drop in anything I will include that and we will try to determine if that's from this product alright guys thanks for, thanks for watching and uh, you know be sure to click in and watch future videos I'm about to cloudy up my water it's time to give some uh, phytoplankton and I'll mix that with some refroids we'll dirty it up but make everybody happy Okay, guys, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in for the next one.